Hey, doesn't this fight scene from Escape from New York almost seem too natural? The firm yet gentle grip, the confident stride up into the batter's box. Here's a little check swing, and oh, a little bit of agility there. Here comes a, yep, contact swing. The coach must have had the hit and run sign on there. A little, little bit of fielding prowess. Getting up off our feet quick. Up, oh, too slow. And swing for the fences. Got him. <laughs> Some of us aspire to be ball players. Others, movie stars. But there's only one name that comes to mind when you think of someone who's done both at an extremely high level. And that's Kurt Russell. But the Kurt Russell story actually starts with his dad. Bing Russell, a.k.a. Sheriff Clem from Bonanza. You see, Bing had a dream childhood. He pretty much spent the summers following around the New York Yankees. That strengthened his love of baseball, and it never let go. After his stint in Hollywood, Bing settled in Portland, Oregon, and settled, at its time, the only independent baseball club in existence. They were all affiliated at that time. He actually had an open tryout, and the bunch of misfits later became known as the Portland Mavericks. For more on Bing and the Portland Mavericks, I highly suggest checking out the Netflix documentary, The Battered Bastards of Baseball. But for now, more about Kurt. Kurt grew up in Thousand Oaks, California, where his dad organized the local Little League. His love of baseball motivated him to audition for his first role in the movie Safe at Home just for the chance to meet Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris. When he wasn't working on his baseball skills, he was attending games. Here he is pictured with Hall of Famer Willie McCovey. At the age of 20, Kurt was already a successful actor, but he was also drafted by the Angels organization. He started with the short season Bend Rainbows, but he caught lots of attention at the plate and second base and moved up rather quickly. Saw on the reflexes. Kurt got off to a blazing hot start at AA El Paso, but an unfortunate rotator cuff injury sidelined him. El Paso released him so that he could act while he was recovering, but in a surprise move, he joined his dad's team instead, the Portland Mavericks. He was also named the vice president, becoming the only simultaneous player and executive in baseball history. The Mavericks dissolved in 1977. Then and only then, Kurt fully committed to acting. By the 80s, Kurt had become a megastar. A fun fact, Kurt's nephew, Matt Franco, carried the family torch all the way to the big leagues in the 90s with the Cubs organization. Just an insanely talented family, man. Take it easy. <laughs>